you must sign in. You can sign in with the poll pad, or you're a visitor and you have to sign in using a visitor pass. You have to sign something to go to a public meeting? Yes. Really? Yes. No thanks. It's the law. It's not the law. You can't be in this area. If no, it's a public signed. meeting. It's a public area. Please leave me you, alone. You have to. Can you please leave me alone? You have to sign I'm in. Trying to, ma'am, I'm trying to, I'm trying to Excuse work here. Excuse me. I yeah. am working here also. Can you also. stop? I'm trying to work. I am working here also. Okay, go up there and work. No, you go out. So that's against the rules, and you can't sit with us. Right now. It's a public you meeting. Have to, you open to the public. I don't have you to. You have to sign no, in in order to be anything. in this room. You can't sit with us! Hi, are you folks here, um, you citizens of the town? Residents of the town? What's that? Are you a resident of the town? Did you? I'm sorry, what's that? Are you a resident of the oh, town? Oh, I don't answer questions. Thank you, though. Right. You're an attorney? I'm an attorney, yes. Oh, God. So Where did you get your law degree? A Cracker Jack box? So you're a voter. You should sit in one of the seats. I'm okay. going to stand right here at the front stand. I've been in the car all day. I've been working. Okay. Trying to bring all right. change well, to this you town. Well, you can stand. Okay. I know want. I can. Um, what if he wants to sit, though? If he wants to sit, we're going to have to find other places. I'm, good. I'm good. good. What if he wants to stand, though? We're good. What if he wants to stand, though? If he wants to, if he, can, he can stand if he wants. But what if he wants to sit? All right. I'm not answering this question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you get a little closer and say that, right? Go fuck yourself. You only really say that because you go to the Okay, so you do intend to try to bully if people if down, you're told to, whether it's the it law or not. If it comes down that I have to tell people to check in, then that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my job. This would work a lot better if we took turns speaking. You let me finish, and then I let you finish, and then you let me finish. So the question was, now knowing that it is not the law, do you intend to try to bully and force people to do something that you know is not law? Go ahead. Have you guys ever wondered what happened to the legendary Chuck Norris? Well, I recently saw a video he made and I was shocked. He's in his 80s now, still kicking butt, working out, and staying active. What's even more shocking is that he's stronger, can work out longer, and still has energy left for his grandkids. He did this by making just one change and he says he still feels like he's in his 50s. His wife even started doing this one thing and she says she's never felt better. She says she feels 10 years younger, her body is leaner, and she has energy all day. Chuck made a video that explains everything. Make sure you watch it by going to chuckdefense.com forward slash James or by clicking the link below in this video. This will change the way you think about your health. Once again, that's chuckdefense.com forward slash James and click the link in the description below to watch the video now. The legendary Chuck Norris is a whopping 81 years old and yet he has more energy than me. He discovered that he could make dramatic changes to his health by simply focusing on three things that sabotage our bodies as we age. Watch his method by clicking the link in the description below. That's chuckdefense.com forward slash James. Hey everybody, it's James Freeman out here at, where are we at? Townsend, Massachusetts. And we're going to a... Select board meeting. Select. A special town meeting. What's uh, so special about it? Well, they, they want to take more money from the citizens and then they want to use that money to pay for something that doesn't benefit the citizens because they lost a million dollars that was in a special fund so the citizens could avoid this same mess. Uh, we, we don't want them to over, no, no override. We don't want the citizens to have to foot the bill. They want to take more imaginary money that doesn't exist <coughs> so that way they can help So they're themselves. taking a page out of the book of the federal government. Exactly. Okay. They're doing it very well. All right. And this is busier than it normally is? Oh, yeah. Okay. This is a, how, this how many is, people are normally at a typical meeting? 50. How many do you think are here tonight? The, we're expecting over 100. Okay. I mean, there's this, this sits 50 and over here, and it's all up and down the street, and people are parking next door, so they're showing up to speak for what's going on. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me, you must sign in. What's that? You must sign in. What is that? You have to sign in for town meeting. If either you're a registered voter, you can sign in with the poll pad, or you're a visitor and you have to sign in using a visitor pass. You have to sign something to go to a public meeting? Yes. Really? Yes. No thanks. It's the law. It's not the law.
Excuse me. Hi. You need to sign, sign in, in? Yes. As, a, as a visitor, please. You can't be in this area. If no, it's a public signing. meeting. It's a public area. Please leave me you, alone. You have. To, Can you please leave me alone? You have to sign. I'm in trying to, ma'am. I'm trying to. I'm trying to work here. Excuse me. I am working here. Can you also. stop? I'm trying to work. I am working here. Also. Okay, go up there and work. No, you go out. So that's against the rules, and you can't sit with us. Right now. It's a public you meeting. Have to, you open to the public. I don't have you to. You have to sign no, in in order to be anything. in this room, and you have to sit up front so that you do not anything. vote. You can't sit with us! I don't have to sign anything. It's a public meeting. I will get to Thanks. Appreciate you. Who's that? Josh? The lady that was yelling at me? She's the town clerk. She's uh, usually very, very nice. Uh, I think they're all bent out of shape because of the turn out of this thing. <laughs> she was trying to tell us we had to sign in. Have you ever yeah. heard that before? So, yeah, they were asking you. I've, I've, I mean, I've heard of places doing it. I just explained to her that there's no law compelling them to sign. It's um, because there's so many people here, they're just trying to differentiate citizens versus guests it doesn't so, matter right. it's irrelevant they, and, then they, the, and that's what I told they them. extort all of us they, they they exist at the expense of people who not just live in the town but the entire United States through federal grants and funding so it doesn't matter where we're from it doesn't but for the record I'm from China hi are you folks here um, you citizens of the town residents of the town what's that are you a resident of the town did you? I'm sorry. What's that? Are you a resident of the oh, town? Oh, I don't answer questions. Thank you, though. Okay, so I'm going to take it that you're not a resident. It's okay if you want to record the meeting. However, unless you're a, a registered voter in the town, you can't vote. Are you folks? Yes. Registered voters. Yes. I, I'd ask that you try to sit someplace or. But anybody can speak. Uh, no. Yes. Yes. No. You might want to check up on the law because well, you're about to land no. yourself a lawsuit tonight. So no, go check it. Go talk to your lawyer. Shh. Can be recognized. Okay. Go talk to your lawyer, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you a voter? I am. All right. See if you can find a place because we're probably going to be doing counts. Okay. But we initially will do a voice vote, and I just want to instruct you, sir, if you're not a registered voter, you can't vote. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay, so there's no. Thank you. All right. Okay. Are you yeah. registered voters in the yeah. town? Okay. Um, then you can vote and you go to the meeting, but as long as there's no disruption of the meeting. Okay. Like the woman up there was doing? Yes, are you going to every single person who's been telling them not to disrupt the meeting? Listen, I'm running for office in this town, I love this town, but I'm not going to take any coordinated direct. What's your name? I'm John Barrett, I'm the town moderator. Right, I, think I, I have to you. make sure that the people you. Aren't you an attorney are voting. Town? I am. I met you right You're right. an attorney? I'm an attorney, yes. Oh, God. So Where did you get your law degree? A Cracker Jack box? Sir, I don't need to... Listen, I know you're just 
Well, you're where, did you, where did you get me. it you're from? You're just trying to provoke me. Where did you get it from? And I'm not you just come up question. to me and told me that there's no public well, comment so from non-residents. On that, that, so you came up to us, engaged us in conversation, and then accused us of provoking you. Do you I see did, where that's I did not, backwards? I did not. You, you, I did not feel free to turn around and walk away at any moment. You. Feel free to. You, I was just trying to instruct you folks that listen, as me long as... the only ones that you said that to. John. Well, because nobody else is recording the meeting, as far as I know. And I'll make an announcement. Anybody that wants... That's the town reporting oh, okay. for remote access. We're, we're, I'm here to take part in what's going on for the town, yeah. the town that I'm running for office for. Yeah. So let's just do this. I didn't come up and speak to you. You came up and spoke to me. Let's end the discussion. We're going to take place and take part of this meeting. Okay. okay. So you're a voter. You should sit in one of the seats. I'm okay. going to stand right here at the first stand. I've been in the car all day. I've been working. Okay. Trying to bring all right. change well, to this you town. Can, you can okay. stand. I know I can. I'm um, what if he wants to sit, though? If he wants to sit, we're going to have to find other places. I'm, good. I'm good. good. What if he wants Pottery to stand, meeting. though? We're good. What if he wants to stand, though? If he wants to, if he, can, he can stand if he wants. But what if he wants to sit? All right. I'm not answering this question. Yeah, yeah. Supercuts did a great job, by the way. <laughs> Who the hell is that guy? I have Fuck no idea. Guy, what a That's piece of dog years. shit. Where did he get his law degree? Jesus Christ, these lawyers are idiots. Is there is there no requirement for an attorney in this? I, listen, I've been in here a year and I haven't seen them just approach someone. You guys weren't talking to anybody. I literally have not said one word since I don't know why they're, he's targeting you. I said two things are going to happen after this meeting. You're still going to be my friend and I'm going to be unelectable. So I'd like to thank you for both. <laughs> <laughs> I tried my best, but Josh, from the moment I walked in here, they came up and were just giving me the stupidest bullshit. I do. I'm running for office here in town. I'm sorry? Yeah, I did. I'm on the ballot. Do you live here in town? What's your name? What's your address? I think we're starting to get um, Why don't you get a little closer and say that, right? Go oh, fuck yourself. Go you only say that because um, you know you And um, I want to ask if everyone has uh, an ability to have a seat. If not, we will have to open up another room. Um, there are, I think, a few seats up in the balcony. Um, at least there's three up there. Uh, so you might want to go upstairs. There are no Have fun, there. boys. Um, I see that. Otherwise, I will. But what was that about? I know we have some folks here uh, filming the event other than our town cable services, and it's okay for them to do that. Um, and if you are recording the event, uh, that's fine. It's your constitutional right to do it. Uh, however, uh, you cannot disrupt the meeting. So, And if you're not a registered voter in the town, you can't vote. So I'd ask that you respect the... Uh, uh, tradition and the, uh, our town meeting privilege by voting only if you are authorized to do so or you're registered voter. I know you guys are all wondering, so I'll tell you now, yes, the meeting was boring AF. The government talked about how they wanted to take more of the people's money to line their own pockets, and the people talked about how they're sick and tired of being extorted. But the following day, we went back to City Hall to follow up with the people that tried to bully us into giving our IDs and signing in to be able to observe a public meeting. Hey. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. What's your name? Jessica. Jessica, did I meet you yesterday? You did. You got a couple minutes? Um, yes. Okay. Um, so yesterday when I came in, you were trying to tell me that I have to sign in to uh, attend yes. the public meeting. Is that right? That's how it's, that's what I was told. That's how it's always been done. We asked town council. Town council said it was a public meeting and anyone can join. So, so you, previously you've made people sign in to public meetings? Yes, because that's how that was told to me. That's how it's been done here. And you told me that years. you told me that it was the law. Well, apparently, I was wrong. Okay, so it's not a law at all. Apparently not. Town okay. council says that you were able to be there and do what you did, so that's good enough for me. All right. Um, so you guys won't be doing that to anyone anymore, right? I don't know that for a fact. We're waiting on town council. So what do you mean? to get further information, I am not in the capacity to make an authorized decision on that. 
Well, I think that you just clarified to me that you understand now that it is not the law that people have to sign in. Yep. Do you intend to try to still try and bully and force people to comply with something that's I not a law? I do what I am told to do, and that is all. Okay, so you do intend to try to bully if people it comes if down, you're told to whether it's the law or not. If it comes down if, that I have to tell people to check in, then that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my job. This would work a lot better if we took turns speaking. You let me finish, and then I let you finish, and then you let me finish. So the question was, now knowing that it is not the law, do you intend to try to bully and force people to do something that you know is not law? Go ahead. No, I'm not going to do anything that I'm told not to do. I'm right, just right. doing what I am told to do. Right. I, I apologize. Maybe I phrased that wrong. Now that you know that it is not the law that people have to sign in, if you're told to try to bully and force people to sign in, knowing that they don't have to, do you intend to do so because you were told to do so? No. You're not going to do that? No, because I don't, <laughs> I don't consider bullying anybody. I was told that make sure that everybody signed in. So I was making sure everybody signed in. I saw you walk past all three tables that were check-in because this is how town meeting works. You have to be a resident in order to make a vote at town meeting. So we're not. So it was told to me in the past that we weren't supposed to. Everyone was supposed to sign in and all the visitors sit up front so that the visitors to town are not making the choices for the town residents. Okay. That they do not have a voting voice in town meeting. Okay, that makes sense, but obviously right. we, you know, someone went, went off the rails somewhere in deciding that you get to shut down and, and regulate who can and can't come in. Um, so I think maybe I'm not being clear or maybe you're not being, but you won't ever do that to anybody again, even if you're told to do it. Is that right? That is correct, because okay. Okay. It, it, to me now I understand it was told to me the law, so the law is, unless they can provide some other information that they have since changed the law, then I will comply with the law. Whatever the law is, I will comply with the law. Okay. Do you, um, I like for people to understand why we do the things that we do because a lot of people kind of just do things and they don't understand why. Mm -hmm. um, do you understand why we can't restrict people from coming in or force them to yes, sign? Yes, I realize it's a public meeting, but I didn't know if things were different because it's an actual town meeting versus a public, you know, conservation commission meeting type of thing. <clears throat> okay. Because it's done a little bit differently. Okay. Hi. All right. Um, I don't know if I had anything else. Did you have any? I just was like, thought like maybe you guys were told something because it was weird. We were there, it was Josh, you know, to show support for him. And right. He obviously wanted to film it. And it was just weird to me that uh, we've been all over, you know, I've been from east to west coast, no city doubt. halls, everywhere. No doubt. And it was the first time where it felt like, you know, everyone in the room kept looking at us like we were there for a nefarious reason, and it's not that. This has never happened in Townsend before. This is the First Amendment auditors are all new, and so to a small town, this is all new, and people don't know certain things and don't know. You know, you say First Amendment auditors, too, and I think that's what a lot of people are, are looking at. But what is a First Amendment audit to you? And it's, there's no right or wrong, wrong answer. I'm curious, though. What does that mean to you, First Amendment audit? Um, I don't feel like I should give my personal opinion on this because I'm here as an official. Well, it's, okay, I, I guess block, officially, so uh, I guess officially then to the town, what is a First Amendment audit? What, when to, you, so what it looks like to the people that work here in this town, you guys come around with the cameras and make sure that we're doing our job okay. in a transparent fashion. Okay. Um, and, and that's why I ask, because I think that's what a lot of people see it as. Um, but I don't think it even needs to be called a First Amendment audit, really, uh, because there are a lot of people who come in and record their own. Before I ever knew what this thing was that has a term, First Amendment audit, I personally always recorded, like 10 years ago, always recorded my interactions with my government. And so I feel like everybody who exercises their rights gets labeled as a First Amendment audit. No, they're just a human exercising their human rights and I, and the only reason i say that is because a lot of times i mean we're hoping that more and more of these people that they don't need to have this wear this label that hey you are this thing no you're just a human that needs to and we all need to keep our government accountable so i come from a law enforcement absolutely. background that's why i'm absolutely. 35 and that's the biggest thing i was told in training you know we had our belt my body cam and mm -hmm. the whole thing was like hey this is so we can protect you so if you're ever in a situation where 
uh, a constituent or a person that you're serving as a police officer, peace officer, whatever you call it, mm -hmm. says that there was a confrontation mm -hmm. and says that you said something that you mm -hmm. may or may not have said, there's that camera. I mean, you can say there's always he said, she said, and then what actually was said. And it's, it's an inexpensive insurance policy to make sure that everybody's being honest with each other Absolutely. and not saying one thing to one person and then going to another person and saying another, <coughs> kind of like that old game of telephone. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Absolutely. <coughs> is Kathy here? She's not. Oh, where is she? She's off this afternoon. Okay. Um, I received information, I don't know if it's accurate or not, that you guys were under the impression that there might be uh, protesters that may even escalate to violence at last night's meeting. Were you guys given? I was given... not told that. You weren't told that? Nope. Okay. I was what... not personally told that. Was anybody? I, I don't know. You'd have to ask everybody else. But me personally, I'm speaking from just my was not told. Because that. that's what I kind of felt like when we came in is that like the tension was there, like we were there to do something bad. And then, and then I think once most of the people that I interact, like I talked to you and that other girl about the Reed House and everything else, and enjoyed the conversation, you know, that's part of the reason why I do enjoy this, because you go to these small towns and meet a lot of cool stuff and a lot of cool history, especially in this region of the country. But it seemed like after that, everybody's nerves kind of, I could like, you know, when you're in a room and then it's like the proverbial elephant in the room and you can feel the tension. Mm -hmm. It was just weird that it was it that was, right out of the gate. There was no small towny politicky stuff. All right, well, I really you know, need to see Kathy. To, you've been to a lot of towns. So yeah, but know. never have I experienced that, you know what I mean? And I'm talking, been to some small towns where even going in, like we were talking about last night, and yep. some of the parishes that we go to where you're like, man, everyone in this room is related to each other. Not in like a nitpicky way, but yep. nepotism is so thick in yeah. some of these small, yes. where it's like the mayor's brothers with the sheriff or the cut, you know what I mean? It's And that can be dangerous too. Yep. So... So uh, we are only in town for one more day, and we have other stuff planned tomorrow. And I really need to talk to Kathy because um, sure. I'm I need an apology. Sure, she was, she's in tomorrow. I don't. We're not going to be able to come down here tomorrow. We've got other. Whoops. It's my first time. Uh, Surely not. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we're not going to be able to come down here tomorrow. Can she meet us somewhere? Can, can you contact her and tell her, hey, we can either meet down here or we can go meet somewhere else? I All just right. I just want a couple minutes that we can clear things up because I got to publish and I'd rather publish with, uh, you know, every, all these loose ends tied up and, you know, the audience knowing, OK, she's she's sorry for what she did rather than, you know, it gets published with that's people's final uh, impression of her is that she's going to come up and yell at people for you can't be in this area if no it's a public talking. meeting it's a public area please leave me you, alone you have to, can you please leave me alone you have to sign i'm in trying to ma'am i'm trying to i'm trying to excuse work excuse me i am working here can you also. stop i'm trying to work i am working here also. okay go up there and work no you go out Right now, it's a public you meeting, have to, you, open to the public. I don't have you to. You have to sign no, in in order to be anything. in this room. I know that she's doing something this afternoon, which is why she's not here. I mean, I can absolutely give her a call and see if I don't know what she's doing or where she is, but if she can come down or maybe she's not available. I don't know. Or, or don't we can meet her either. somewhere too, and I got and, and I got no problem meeting anywhere that's more most com comfortable for her, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whether it's you know, so. Kathy never did come and meet with me to give me an apology or even so much as give me the courtesy of a phone call. We were later told that Kathy was under the impression that there may be violent protesters attending the meeting that night and that this was the reason they were sending people around to confront everyone in the meeting that they didn't recognize. Every town employee that we talked to denied this, but if it were true that they were expecting violent people to come, why would Kathy walk up to people that she believed may have violent outbursts and act like this. No, you go out right now. It's a public you meeting have to, you, open to the public. I don't have you to. You have to sign no, in in order to be anything. in this room. As you saw, she was completely unwilling to speak with me after this incident. But who knows? She may speak with you if you reach out.